Hi guys! Welcome back to our channel. So for today's video, I'm going to share to you my experience when I had my U.S. Embassy interview. At the same time, I'm going to tell you those steps that I underwent. Okay guys, so let's go. So I had my U.S. visa appointment or interview last October 12, 2022. So around 8.15 am so i went there of course nang mas maaga i think it was around 7 yeah 7 30 like that so i was with my sister so that's my first piece of advice so be with someone na magkakatiwalaan mo kasi sa kanya mo i-entrust yung mga gamit mo especially the gadgets bawal kasi sa loob guys yung mga gadgets yes bawal magdala ng cellphone so iniwan ako sa kanya and then, nag-proceed na ako dun sa embassy, sa loob po, guys. So, guys, there are minor and major steps or processes or procedures dito sa aking interview. So, sa minor naman, syempre yung mga initial screening. So, so pagpunta ko sa guard, so, by the way, guys, be polite. Yeah, be polite all the time. So, greet them with smiles, so... Yun lang, sa, sa guard, sinabi lang for what, and then sabihin mo, for US Embassy interview, alam naman nila yun, it's just for formality. And then, yung una nag-check sa akin, so, dalawang personnel, or people from the embassy, guys, so, tinanong nila sa akin yung appointment ko. So, don't forget to print your appointment. And then, yan, chinect nila, and then, they ask for my passport, and then for my notice of action, or the I-797B. For my passport, guys, nung hinawakan nila to, may idinikit silang sticker. Yan. Which is important sa uh, first major step ng, inter ng interview. Okay. So, pagkatapos nun, guys, so pumasok na kami dun sa for the checking ng, ano mo, ng mga dala mo. Kung may, ba, may mga dala, pag may dala ka pang bag, so, just check dun. Anyway, you know that. So, yun na nga, nung na-check na, so, proceed na dun sa waiting area. So, again, guys, don't forget Bawal din yung mga sharp object. Kasi dun sa checking area, yung kasunod ko guys, may dala siyang, hindi niya siguro napansin, may dala siyang nail cutter. So, bawal din yun. So, parang ginawa na, tinapa na lang niya. Okay? And then guys, so proceed na sa waiting area. So, that's the minor steps. Okay, so, let's proceed with the major steps. So, ayun na nga. Nasa waiting area na kami. So, I believe, nag-wait kami dun ng 10 to 15 minutes. So, madali lang yung process. Tapos, yung mga, yung mga tao na embassy, wow, commendable. Yeah, they are very responsible, they are very kind, and talagang hindi ka maanong magtanong sa kanila kasi they are very approachable. So, yun na. So, the first step, guys, so, pumasang kami sa, sa entrance, go, go, go na tapos. So, the first step, guys, is the screening. For the screening, guys, so, itatandang or kukunin sa'yo yung iyong passport. And then, yung notice of action. Ito. So, dito guys, ipofold nila yan. Yan. Pinold nila. So, my piece of advice, you must have your uh, notice of action, the photocopy or scan copy. So, that's it. So, and then, tanda ko sa first step, tinanong kung magbabayad na ba ako nung reciprocity fee which is 474 and I said yes may binigay sila sa aking papel parang yun yung yun yung present ko dun sa window kung sila ko nagbayad and then after ng first step proceed ako sa second step sa second step naman guys is the biometric so biometric guys you're just going to she just asked first kung kung ano yung yung birth date mo and then of course your name and then she asked me to tap this one dun sa machine or think this one, and then this one, and then this one. Then after nun, guys, ito na, yung major, major step or process, which is the the interview. So, luckily, nung time ko, tapat ako sa window 26. So, the questions were a bit easy naman. So, I think it's just uh, four questions, yeah. Question, the questions were this, the first one. Where will you go? Or where are you going and why? Yeah. It's like, where are you going? What will you do? It's like that. And then the second one, 
what's your highest educational attainment, something like that. And then, what are you going to teach? And then, the last one, guys, yung magkapatid na tanong is about this one, the blue pamphlet. So, the questions about this were, did you read the pamphlet? This one. So, I said, yes. And then, did you understand it? I said, yes. And then, that's it. And then, she just told me na, go to the second floor, pay this amount, and then after paying, go back to me. So, yun na nga. That's the end of the third step. And then, so fourth step naman, guys, which is the pay, paying na po. Punta na ko second floor, and then, nagbayad na ako. And then, sa pagbabayad, guys, so it's 474 USD. So, better if you have the exact amount. So, for me, ang akin, guys, nagdala ko ng 500 USD. Yan. And then, kasi at that time, I, I just don't know kung magkano yung exchange rate ng dollar to peso. So, I, yan, I brought 500 USD. And then, that's it, guys. Pagkakuha na ko ng receipt, pumalik na ako sa window kung saan ako na-interview, pila ulit. And then, I, I present my receipt. And then, she asked for my passport. Yun, kinuha na niya yung aking passport. And then, that's it. Nakahinga na ng maluwag. You know, guys, yung sa journey ko din sa US Embassy interview, siguro yung the best na maipapayo ko is be with God. It's like, when I say be with God, yung keep on praying na everything will be okay. Just give everything to Him. So, yun talaga, pray, pray, pray kay Lord. Tapos, ang sila sabi, Lord, sana yung may encounter kong tao ay gamitin mo para mapabuti or parang malampasan ko tong pinagdadaanan kong ito, itong challenge na to. Yan, guys. So, be with God. And then, be be kind. Be polite. Yun. Tapos, kasi yun, napakababay talaga, guys, ng tao sa embassy. And then, yun nga, like what I said, well-guided kami. Kasi nga, napakabukod sa mga bait, responsible sila. Alam nila yung kanilang ginagawa or yung kanilang work doon. So, hindi sila, ano, hindi sila nakaka-intimidate. At saka, very approachable. Yun. So, that's it. Sumunod ka lang talaga dun sa sinasabi nila. Pag sinabi nilang, punta dito, punta dito, yun. That's it, guys. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please consider sharing and subscribing to my channel. Stay safe and God bless.